Okay, hey guys, how's everyone doing? So today we are going to try to do an L3 haul. I am super tired, so this is probably not the best time, but when it's ever a good time, right? And I wanna put this stuff away because I did, okay, so here's the thing. I didn't realize how big my L3 order was. Like I had a list and I probably should just, I mean, obviously it seems kind of obvious to like look at the list and be like, oh, this is a lot of stuff, Kim. Like maybe you need to take some things off, but no, that didn't happen. The problem with L3 is she always has such a big list. Like, I don't know how these people are <laughs> pouring so much wax. And I think I got everything. I think I had everything I had set out for. I don't think I missed anything. Also, my nails look like crap, so just excuse that, I'm so sorry. So the sample I have is geez, Tahitian Vanilla. And this is, it's like a tropical vanilla, as far as I can tell. Not one that I would need like forever or anything. I have been warming through my L3 stuff and I have to say, I have definitely been having some favorites Oh, this is lemon curd blackberry, sorry. I don't know if you can see that, there we go. Not my scent, you guys know I am not the biggest fan of lemon curd anymore. I just, I cannot do it. The next one I have is today is October 3rd. Now, I know a lot of people love this scent, but honestly, I'm kind of getting over it. It's Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and maybe Toasted Mallow or some sort of mallow in there. I just, Palo Santo to me, it just after like it warms for a little bit, I'm like, oh, the smoky smell just starts to, it's good, but it's not that good for me. It smells nice. I think honestly, I would take any of her sugar cookie blends and be like, that's good. But I think with Palo Santo for me, I it's just, you know, it's good, but I know a lot of people like it. Okay. The first, so Bitty Betty Lows. Um, I love her Bitty Betty Lows. I think they're the perfect size. I like the thought of cutting them up and having this little amount. Well, not little, it's still pretty large. I think it's, well, I don't know how many ounces it is, but they're cute. Um, so this is Slumberland and this is Toasted Mallow, Lavender Vanilla, Blackberry Jam. I have been obsessed with lavender type things, anything with lavender in it, I'm like all about it. And I, I like having things at nighttime that have lavender in them. So this one is pretty heavy on that blackberry jam. I do smell the toasted marshmallow and just a little bit, lavender vanilla for me is hard because I don't get a lot of lavender vanilla scent. So I don't, I just know it's like a, it's a different lavender for me. I tend to like more herbal lavenders, but it is in there. I would just say the blackberry jam and the toasted mallow are what come out most. Okay, so that's my first bitty betty. The next one, I've been wanting to try this white elephant exchange forever. So I got strawberry sugar, white elephant exchange, and so this is powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, and vanilla frosting. I tried the Cookie Therapy, which is the other popular blend that's going around. I, I didn't love that one. To me, that one was very pretzel dominant. It was very like buttery for me. I don't know. I might try it in a blend. Just So this one, I can smell the strawberry. Now this strawberry, I thought strawberry sugar was the, the strawberry that I could handle, but this strawberry sugar smells a little bit like that artificial strawberry to me. It still smells okay. I might be able to deal with it. There's a strawberry oil out there. Or there. Maybe there's a few. I can really only do the realistic smelling strawberries. I don't like these like fake smelling ones. So it's hard for me. I do smell what smells like a white powder donut in here, um, which smells really good. So if I could just eliminate that strawberry scent, I'd probably be good. I probably should have grabbed a few, well, I did grab a few different, well, like this one right here, let's just jump into this one. So this one is, so this one is Cotton Candy Craze White Elephant Exchange. So this has, let's see, what is Cotton Candy um, Craze? It is Cotton Candy, Cotton Candy Frosting, Blue Raspberry, Cotton Candy. Okay, <laughs> that explains the name. Okay, this one is better. This one is very sweet, but I still smell that white donut. 
or what smells to me like to my nose a white donut oh that's nice with that strawberry sugar it, it just smelled very artificial so i'll be interested to get this on a warmer because you know cold sniff really doesn't mean much things change so much like i have loved so many blends on warm and i didn't like them on cold okay so lavender boardwalk mellow clouds what, oh, I was getting this for the lavender. I was trying to think for a second. I was like, why did you buy that? Okay, this is a good lavender that she's got going on in here. This is like an herbal lavender. And surprise, surprise, the Boardwalk Mellow Clouds does not take over. I've been finding a lot of the blends I got in Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds has kind of taken over. Oh, this one's a nice lavender. That one's really nice. A few of these, I swear to God, I blacked out when I ordered because some of these I'm like did I why did I order that I was like did I why what <laughs> so this next one I have is the two pack bunt cakes and this is ice cold lemon lime and ginger ale so the ice cold ginger ale is what turned me on to this one I loved the what was it cold ginger ale from Lake Providence Lodge oh this is good this is really good. Give me all the ginger ales and the lemonades. This actually kind of reminds me of like lemonade. But like lemonade and ginger ale mixed. This is good. I like that. Okay, this one I had had before and I really liked it. This is Water Horse of Loch Ness. I did it, this in a warm reviews and I really liked it. So I grabbed another one. Evening, Seattle Rain and Salty Sea Air and this is evening evenings in the hamptons someone helped me with that last time seattle rain and salty sea air why did i say that again i was just trying to say evenings in the ha hamptons no oh, this one is so fresh and so good i feel like the salty sea air is not the prominent note in here whatever salty sea air she has in here is not the one that i feel like is like the watery not watery, like the watered down salty sea air. It's like a softer salty sea air. It's more of a that sharp salt smell. Oh, Evenings in the Hamptons, my friend Kristen had sent to me as a little sample, and I can definitely smell it in there. So that one is just really nice and crisp. Um, it doesn't fall in like salty sea air territory for me, so that's good. This one, okay, so this one, Diet Starts Monday White Elephant Exchange. So this is powdered donuts. Well, no, I don't, I don't need to do all that. What I need to get to is what Diet Starts Monday is, and that is, let's see, Sugar Cookie Royale, Santa's on Keto, Sugared Shortbread. Oh shoot, I don't know what Santa's on Keto is. I feel like Santa's on Keto is a bunch of like frostings maybe, I don't know. I have that somewhere in my collection. Okay, this one, hmm. Is that blackberry jam butter cookie in here? Is that maybe what that is? I don't know. This one smells a little bit artificial. Like there's a note in here that comes off as artificial. It's kind of like with that straw, some of the strawberries have like a very, kind of like if you were to smell like a strawberry shortcake doll and you know how they smell very artificial, like they don't smell, actually I like the smell of strawberry shortcake doll. So I can't even like relate it to that, but just for my nose, it just doesn't work. Like to me, I can find, like I know there's better bakery scents out there if they don't have that artificial smell. So this one kind of smells artificial. I need to find out what Santa's on Keto is. The next one I did is Winter Snooze. And I feel like my friend Candy and I were talking about this one. I was like, you know what, F it. Let me just try <laughs> this one. It did sound good. She's got a good nose too, I really appreciate her input and we talk like about restocks and stuff so thank you if you're watching um this is icy peppermint herbal lavender and chamomile this one is woo and this really is icy peppermint it's almost like a menthol -y peppermint um am i getting herbal lavender or chamomile i don't know to me, sometimes when you get blends that have peppermint in them, sometimes they can tend to be dominant, uh, especially like an icy, like menthol peppermint kind of takes over. So we'll see what happens with that one on warm. I grabbed pink lemonade fizzy pop. I feel like, wasn't this Jenny? Cause I, I know I hauled Jenny and 
Jenny from Harry Potter. And I think the scent notes were pink lemonade fizzy pop. So I don't know, I may have rebought this, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> it smells good, it's lemonade, it's pink, it's fizzy pop. I mean, there's not much, there's not much to say about that one. That one's good. Like I said, I love these like fizzy scents during summertime. And even when you just want to, okay, hold on a second. Even when you just want to air out your house or you just want something really fresh, but you don't want like a fresh, fresh, you know, like a earthy or like a dove or an ivory, you want like something that's kind of clearing, you know? The next one I have is cake batter, ice cream, vanilla crunch, and maple syrup. I don't know why this sounded good. I love cake batter blends. That's probably what drew me into this one. So, Oh, and I do love cake batter. Okay, the maple syrup in here is not too strong, which I love because sometimes maple syrup can overtake a whole scent. And if it's too mapley, I don't like it. But this one is nice. Just that cake batter hits and then that maple syrup comes in, you know, all the other stuff, vanilla crunch, all that just kind of mingles with the rest. But cake batter, I love when I can smell cake batter right off the bat. Okay. Um, oh, I have one more. This is the one that I was like, why did I, why did I order that? I think the name got me Pennywise, <laughs> which is so silly. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say about this one. Okay. So sweet funnel cakes dusted with powdered sugar and topped with strawberry and raspberry syrup. You know what it is? I think it's the sweet funnel cakes. Sometimes sweet funnel cakes draws me in because I like funnel cake scent. And I think I'm constantly on the search for that perfect funnel cake because sometimes funnel cake can come off weird. And I'm always looking for that one that smells like a freshly like fried funnel cake like you get from Disneyland. So this one smells good. It is definitely fruity. Like it has fruity and then a little bit of bakery. I can kind of smell that bakery pulling down the, the fruity a little bit, but the fruity's nice. It's, um, hmm, strawberry and raspberry. The raspberry's nice. I would say I like the raspberry in here. I think that's what's kind of throwing me off because I don't get a lot of raspberry blends, but Pennywise is nice. Not one that, I mean, I'll probably be a one and done type situation with that one, but we'll see. Okay, so this one I had to get. I love rosemary mint. I love lavender and I love the Boom Boom Cream. So this one just seemed like a no brainer. Rosemary mint lavender is a good match together anyways. I've had this from vendors before. Never with Boom Boom Cream though. Oh, this smells so good. I like her Rosemary Mint oil. The lavender comes through nicely and just nice and soft. And the Boom Boom doesn't take over. It's not like a heavy Boom Boom Cream. It's more Rosemary Mint lavender, honestly. And I'm not, uh, I don't, you know, that's good with me. I'm good with that. The next one I have is Strawberry Jam White Elephant Exchange. You see I went, oh, that car is so loud, or motorcycle, whatever the hell that was. Strawberry Jam White Elephant Exchange. I wanted, obviously you could see I was trying to try the White Elephant Exchange <laughs> in different blends. I do that and then I get mad at myself because I'm like, why? But I guess I only had three or four different White Elephant Exchange and not big quantities. So this is a strawberry I like. I like her strawberry jam. This smells more like that fresh picked strawberry vibe that I like that's more realistic to me and not fake. Mm, I'm trying to smell that white elephant, white elephant exchange but I have a feeling that that one might come out a little bit more on warm. I hope so. So that white elephant exchange is not bad. I'm not hating on that. I wanted to grab Saltwater Mermaid, Fizzy Pop, and Midnight Blue Citrus. I saw this show up a few times in that restock, the last one that she just did. Midnight Blue Citrus is from Bath & Body Works, I think, if I'm thinking correctly. I feel like I've had it in the candle before, but I can't remember at this point. So this one... Yeah, this one's nice. So it's got a little bit of the fizzy... The Saltwater Mermaid, I still don't know what that is. <laughs> I, I should have looked it up by now. You would think like four hauls in, I would know, but I think Saltwater Mermaid is just, she, see the problem is she has a few. She's got Saltwater, saltwater Mermaid, Saltwater Princess, 
Um, saltwater taffy, I think might be another one. It smells mostly fizzy and I smell citrus. So I wanted to try yellow cake. I have been dying to try like a yellow cake. When I smelled this, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I was like, are you kidding me? So this one is, all right. So yellow cake is basically, this is whatever VCS uses for her Jackie O. This smells exactly like Jackie O blends that um, VCS does. I know this because I don't like Jackie O blends that much. Like sometimes I can handle Jackie O, but I remember when she first like debuted Jackie O and we were like, ooh, everyone bought it. And I was like, why don't I like this? It's because of this scent right here, yellow cake. Something about that, I was hoping that this would taste, or taste, I was hoping that this would smell like a yellow cake batter. And instead it's got that funky birthday cake that VCS uses all the time in her Jackie O blends. I don't know why I don't like it. I just, to me, it's not yellow cake. It's um, weird undertone cake. <laughs> this next one is La Love's Baby Soft Bum Bum and someone, sorry, Love's Baby Soft Boom Boom. Ugh. Someone in my last video was reminding me that, or they gave me the scent description. I can't remember who and I'm so sorry. It's the perfume from, it was either the 80s or the 90s. I really remember it in like drugstores at the time. And I can kind of remember what the bottle looks like. I was kind of young at the time, but I do remember it. She gave me the scent notes and of course I don't remember, but this one is actually really pretty. This one is really sweet. It's like a, it's almost like a bedtime blend. It's just a really soft, kind of baby smelling like I, I think I said before it loves baby soft smelled to me like a little bit of a baby powder kind of like a soft floral it has a little bit of like baby powder vibe to it but not like baby powder if that makes any kind of sense but that one's good I love her matrix melts and she did some for this restock so I was super excited this is Ivory Good Clean Air Lever 2000. So I just asked on the board, thank you to, I don't wanna say your name wrong. Is it Jasmina? Jasmina, oh God, Jasmine. Shoot, I'm so sorry. She commented that she thought this Good Clean Air was a Yankee candle dupe. And I actually saw that it was at Walmart. So the next time I go to Walmart, I'm gonna hunt this down, but they had it in like little scented beads and yeah, I definitely want to smell it because I got the single note and a scoop here that I'll get to in a minute. But I like Ivory. Lever 2000, I don't think I've ever had by itself. Oh, okay, you can smell that Lever 2000. Okay, now I know what Lever 2000 smells like because I'm pretty sure that's a pretty strong note in here. I do smell Ivory, but I don't think I have any Ivory on hand to smell to compare. Oh, this is good. This is gonna be good and fresh. I really like when she blends like stuff like that up together. So I grabbed all of the like clean matrix mouse. I didn't grab, I think she had a lot of fall ones. I didn't, I grabbed one fall one. Fluffy towels, cotton candy, gummy bears. I don't get into fall wax as much. Like when people get all excited about fall, I'm just kind of like womp womp. Cause I feel like fall to me is a lot of cider lane. It's a lot of apple. It's a lot of like circus concession. Um, it's a lot of bakery. So I'd rather just have bakery than fall bakery. I mean, I like some of it, but I don't warm a lot during, I don't warm a lot of fall scents during fall. Like maybe the week of Halloween, like I might warm one thing that's fall like, but I don't need a whole like collection of fall stuff. So I tend to go pretty light. So fluffy towels, cotton candy and gummy bears. I'm pretty sure Fluffy Towels is a Yankee Candle dupe. I feel like I had the candle so long ago, but I don't remember exactly what it smelled like. So the gummy bears and the cotton candy are just kind of like sweet notes in here. And I'm sure the Fluffy Towels is in there, but I'm getting like, I'm getting thrown off from the sweetness of this. And I don't know what Fluffy Towels smells like on its own, but I did want to grab that one. Okay, this one, ugh, steak. This is Mr. Pointy, and if you guys don't know what the reference is for Mr. Pointy, it's for Buffy, um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the actual, the series. 
Well, actually, it could be the movie, too. I, I never saw the movie. I did see the series, though. Love that series. That's a great series to watch. Um, I haven't watched it in a long time. But So Mr. Pointy is Buffy's stake that she uses to kill the vampires with. So she calls it Mr. Pointy. And so this is called Mr. Pointy Cedarwood Hayrides and Vanilla Beans. When I opened this, I was like, oh, man. Cedarwood is good, like, for me on its own. But holy hell, this <laughs> smells like, it almost had like a smoky smell. Like it smells like if you had like a fire in like a cabin and you were coming in the next morning and you kind of could smell that uh, very like fire scent. Like the, not, not a good one either. I don't know, man. I'm... I am uh, definitely not sure what I think about this one. This one is one of those that might be a good like manly or it might be good to mix with like a cologne. That might help it. But on its own, I don't, like why did I grab that one? I don't know. This is what I'm saying, I blacked out. I seriously blacked out. So this next one is Cotton Candy Craze, stra Strawberry Sugar and White Clouds. I love White Clouds. I guess Strawberry Sugar might be artificial smelling too. Let me smell this one and see. Okay, so the strawberry sugar in this one is not as intense, so that's good. It's more white clouds and cotton candy. So I think I can mess with this one and be okay. So the strawberry is not as strong, but hopefully that won't come out later and like knock me out of the room because <laughs> I just, I don't know, I guess some of those strawberries I just cannot do. Does it, is there anyone else out there like that? Is there strawberries that you cannot do or am I the only one? Because I feel like I'm always talking about it in my hauls. And I don't know if people are like getting me or if they're like, what is she talking about? I don't know. Let me know. Celestial Sea, Stainless Steel, and Cashmere Cedar. I warmed a, oh no. Was it Cashmere Cedar? No, never mind. Something else. What is that? Cocoa Butter Cashmere? Oh my gosh, that is so good. I did a blend with that yesterday and I was like, oh my gosh, this smells so good. Okay, I don't know what Celestial Sea is, but I was really intrigued with the stainless steel. I've been trying to um, get like a, a plain stainless steel scent. I, I thought I did, didn't I? Oh no, I ordered that from another vendor. Okay, I remember now. So this one is, I definitely smell the cashmere cedar not knowing what Celestial C is, I feel like there's a sweet smell in here. <sighs> stainless steel. I don't know if I'm getting stainless steel. This one smells very strong though. Whew. I have to be careful. Not, I didn't sleep good last night and I'm prone to headaches when I don't get enough sleep. And that one, I think I have to be careful with that cashmere cedar scent because I think it can be a little bit too much. Okay, Nocturne Alley is Rainstorm and Marshmallow Fireside. I tried to grab this in the last restock and I missed it, it went out of my cart. But um, now that I've smelled it, I don't know that I need it. <laughs> the Rainstorm smells great and so did the Marshmallow Fireside. I was hoping the Marshmallow Fireside would be a little bit more marshmallow than Fireside. But now that I'm smelling, the, okay, now that I'm smelling this again, when I first smelled this, it smelled very much like a, it smelled more like marshmallow fireside, but more on the smoky side. And now that I'm smelling it again, I definitely smell the rainstorm and the marshmallow. So weird how that happens. Does anybody else do that or is it just me? Okay, this one's better. When I first smelled it, I was like, oh gosh, like I got a totally smoky <laughs> scent off this but it's smelling better now. So this one might be a winner. Okay, then I just grabbed a regular good clean air. I have had this in a blend before. This smells very familiar to me. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm gonna need to go and smell this and see if it is good clean air from Yankee Candle, or I, th I think they call it clean air. When I did the Google search for it, a few different names came up for it. So I don't know if it's called good clean air or clean air, good air. I have had this before. Oh, this smells good. This is, hmm, it's fresh, 
kind of verging on laundry, but it's not laundry. There goes that motorcycle again. Yeah, it does kind of remind me of a laundry a little bit, but nothing that I could put my finger on, and I, I don't think it's a dupe of any laundry. Hmm, and it kind of does smell like a, like an ozone-ish type situation, so I'm good with that. Then I just grabbed a plain old Dove. I've been wanting Ivory and Dove just in my collection. I like mixing those, and I also like them, them plain as well. Dove is just so soft. It really reminds me of, um, I, I think my grandma used to use Dove. A lot of people in my family use like regular, you know, soaps <laughs> before like body washes like sort of took over. Does anybody else still use soap or is every everyone like a body wash user? I, so I, I'm trying to get through my Lush soaps. So I always use soap and then I do body wash and then sometimes I'll use soap again for like shaving or whatever, but I double up. <laughs> I don't know, I feel cleaner that way. So clothespins. I love clothespins. I, you know, I don't even know what the scent description is for clothespins, but I'm sure a lot of people or a lot of you have smelled clothespins. I, I like it in blends, I like it by itself. Okay, and the last thing I have is, wait, did I already get this? Oh no, okay, I got a different one. All right, so fluffy towels, cotton candy craze, and strawberry sugar. See now, this is why, now this is a perfect example of why I should have only got one blend with strawberry sugar, but I kept thinking in my head, oh, I like her strawberry. Her strawberry is fine, because I've never had an artificial strawberry from her, but I think the strawberry sugar might be I don't know. It's kind of, it's on the border. It's on the border of being that artificial strawberry, but I think maybe the sugar part of it makes it different possibly. But I'm definitely getting the strawberry in here. It's hard to smell scoops because sometimes they're not overtly strong like right off the bat you have to melt them and then, you know, the scent will come out. Okay, so that is my order. Thank you guys for watching. I know this was kind of a long one and I said in my next, or I said in a video, I think my warm reviews, that I'm definitely gonna have to start slowing down on L3 because I just cannot keep, I cannot keep buying all this L3. Like it's, like I love all my L3. I've been warming through that probably, but like when I go to my L3 basket, I never find anything that I'm like, oh, I don't wanna warm this. Like everything I wanna warm and then I'm like, ooh, I need to ask her to pour this again so I can get it in a loaf. You know, that's usually how it turns out with me in L3. So yeah, but I, uh, so I love it is what I'm saying, but I either, or that's going to be, like I said in my other video, I'm going to pick two restocks to buy from, or L3 is just going to have to be my, one of my monthly restocks, like every month. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm hoping next time her list is not as enticing. I hope she starts pouring more fall stuff because I'll, tend to stay away from the fall stuff a little bit more. I just I just don't need a lot of fall stuff. I, I don't typically love a lot of fall, so there's that. All right, if you guys ordered from the restock, let me know what your favorite thing was. I always love to know that from you guys. And yeah, there goes that motorcycle. What is going on with that guy? <laughs> I really wanna go out there and go, why do you keep going by the house? Okay, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate it and I hope everyone is doing well. Talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.